Hey, what's going on guys, Sigma here in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you how to edit like precise. Here's what you're gonna learn in today's video. Say you gonna walk for me. If these lives gonna run, my nigga slide. My gun gonna talk for me. Trigger finger, make these bullets fly. That's my philosophy. If you out of line, then you gonna die. These bullets depressing. They gonna make your family cry. I carry this lesson. We gonna catch a homicide. As always, all of the presets, assets, and even the project file will be in the description. So before we get into the tutorial, please do make sure that you have all of those downloaded and on your desktop. Also make sure to check out Precise. All of his links are in the description, including his edit pack. Uh, and with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so this first part will only be applicable if you have After Effects installed, and this is for the text that he uses in the intro. If you do not have After Effects installed, you can skip forward to the next section. You can see it in the little time bar at the bottom. There will be different sections. So just go ahead and skip on through the next one. But if you have After Effects, just keep on watching. So right here, we're going to want to drag in both of our cinematics. And we will need two different cinematics right here. I opened one by accident. And they should be sort of like this. They should be zooming outward. Now, the ones I'm using are from Razy, And I will link the tweet that I got these from in the description. Granted, it is still up because I know he quit or whatever. So right here, we have this gap at the start. So we are using the song White Lie by 637 Godwin. So let's go ahead and listen back and just sort of see uh, where we want these cinematics to go. So we wanted to start right here. And we want that to be right there. So now that we have that, let's go and section that off. So we drag this up here so that it starts right there. And let's go and hold control on our keyboard, uh, left control, and drag and time stretch it down right there. Now let's go and do the same thing for the other cinematic and make sure that the first screen is on black. Drag that in there, time stretch it. Now this one was a bit longer and it is important for these to be the same speed. So just keep playing around with the time stretch like this until they are both the cinematics you have are the same speed. So now once you have done that, just go and press S right there. And now you're going to want to open up your After Effects intro template that is in the description. All right. Now, once you have opened the template, it looks sort of like this. And you need to make sure that you have Burbank Condensed Bold installed as a font, obviously. Uh, but once you open it up, it should look like this. So you have that goes out like subscribe whatever so let's go and type in the song name right here you just click on the text tool in the top left uh just go ahead and highlight everything let's go ahead and do white lie and after you've done that just go ahead and do it on both of them so white lie uh now go and click on this and just go and go to align and center it and uh go ahead and do the same thing here if it doesn't quite center uh, like this, what you need to do is you need to select the text track. You need to go up to layer, click on transform, and then center anchor point in layer content. This will center this little thing right here. And this is what After Effects uses to gauge where the center point should be. So if you're having trouble doing it, just go and do that and then click align again and everything should be fine. Now, once you've done that, just go and click on file, export, and add to render queue. Uh, go down to output module uh, and this will come up. Click on AVI, channels, RGB plus alpha and audio output off. Click OK and click render. Now you need to change the name down here if you don't want it to overlap, whatever. I don't really care. Type that in render and it should be very, very quick. All right. Now, once the text is finished, just go and drag it in right there. Just go and overline it. Click properties, media, alpha channel, none to straight on Madden and click OK. Now, if they don't quite sync up, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just split them in the middle and time drag them like that. If they uh, like I said, if they don't overlap. All right. I just realized that I forgot to show you how to velocity remap. So let's go and do that real quick. Just go and insert remove envelope velocity. Go and go like a fourth of the way in on both of them right there and then go to the end. Set that to 200, that to 200, this to like 65 and that to like 65 uh set this first frame to fast and this last one right there to slow and go and do that for both of them uh pretty pretty easy stuff really we just want to make it like sort of naturally blend together i would say is the best description of it uh and that's pretty much all you have to do uh once again sorry this is a bit out of like sync or whatever uh i just forgot to show you how to do it uh now once you've done this everything should be fine you can just keep on going uh now that we have these you can go ahead and head into the presets that you've downloaded from the description uh and just go ahead and drag in the precise uh where is it the precise cinematic zoom so just go ahead and drag in that to both of them go to the gaps right here go one two three four five frames out and do that here as well one two three four five you want to split the text up there do the same thing and then dragging the precise cinematic zoom in 
to both of those so that the endings just sort of transition smoothly. As you can see, I make sure that the text follows with as well so that the cinematic zoom is on the text layers as well. And now we have this. It is very good and there is some shake on it as well. So it does look very, very clean. Uh, now let's go ahead and drag in the first clip. Here is the first clip. Obviously, the link to the clip pack will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Now let's go ahead and sync this up to the first kill right here. So it should be right around here. Yep, so let's go ahead and sync it up to that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right there, there. So now that we have that, just go ahead and drag this back to the start right here. Go ahead and find out where you want the ident to end. I've already marked that right there. And now go ahead and press U on this point, press S on the audio track and then delete it right there. Now also make sure to press S up here and go to roughly the middle right here. Uh, press S and then delete the first part. Drag the second part back and then hold control and time stretch it so that it goes back. This will make it so this entire stretch is roughly 50% in velocity and you can actually add a bunch of stuff and it's just easier than only adding velocity. So now that we do have that, just go ahead and drag in the precise under ident and it'll look like this. Uh, now go ahead and drag in your ident template. So this is how it should look. Now the link to this will be in the description and yesterday's or two days ago, I posted a tutorial on how you can actually change the ident template stuff so that you can get your own name in here. Now I do know Spixie has a tutorial just like this as well. So I will give you the ident template in the description. And from there, you should very, very easily be able to figure out what you should do yourself. Uh, so now what you wanna go ahead and do is just press S right there, the solo track button on this background right here. Now go to file render as and we're going to render this in high quality because this is going back into your project. I do see way too many people rendering this in low quality and then getting some weird, you know, like low quality uh, shots in your finished highlight. It is very important that you do not do that. So these are my actual render settings. I just click on the top one right there under Magic AVC AAC. Go up here, custom frame size 1920 1080. Double click, include video, constant bit rate 135. Uh, precise tutorial one and we render that out all right once the render is finished just going completely remove that and drag it back in press u on the audio track and delete now go ahead and go to the precise uh where is it the precise zoom out one just go and drag that on there and now no the precise zoom out two that is my bad now go ahead and uncheck the solo and there should be a nice transition there and everything should be good. So now what you're going to want to do is just make a new uh, video track by pressing Control Shift Q, right click, insert generated media, Vegas solid color, add OK. Now go ahead and select the color and drag it all the way down to black and just go ahead and go to where the ident starts going out, which will be roughly right there and make sure that starts is there and now you ha should have this black block. Now go ahead and just drag this in and put this underneath the ident so that it looks like that. And now what you can want to go ahead and do is just go right here and you're going to want to add your basic velocity. So insert move envelope velocity, double click on the shot right there, go one, two, three, four back, and then one, two, three, four, five. Now go ahead and double click roughly right here, press slow. Now go to the middle one, set to 50, then press slow again, drag this up until you can see it, you see, until the character like, you know, switches to the AR or whatever, and then set it to 50 after that. So now go ahead and split that in the middle and go ahead and go 20 frames back here. So this should be to 39 and split right there. Now go ahead and you uh, and add the precise beat shake glow to this part right here that doesn't have anything. So just add right that, that right there and that should go out and now you have that. Now go ahead and go and set the first one to 65 frames or 65 speed and then go a bit forward double click again and then a bit forward again and just double click on that twice so that it ends up at 100 percent and this should add some slow-mo at the start and there really should not be any like any issues here and if there are any issues with the splitting then you've done too much so you can just you know drag that back you can double click closer or whatever uh, but it really shouldn't be too noticeable. Uh, and now what you want to go ahead and do is just add the precise impact puddle to this. And now just go to the click where you're going to want to transition, which is right here. Let us split it. And okay. 
and go and do the same thing with the track audio. Now go to this right here, uh, the sort of build up and go back to the precise build up 20 frames and drag that in. So now we have this and honestly, it looks pretty good in my opinion, pretty close to the actual thing. Uh, then again, I'm not 100% sure though, obviously. Uh, now what you're going to go ahead and do is just drag in your second clip right here. Now this I've chosen an AR exploit for this because there is a beat right before. So we're going to go ahead and mark the beat right there and just go ahead and drag back and just go ahead and sync it up right there. Now go ahead and sync it up to the first shot right there and then just drag this back out. Now in this scenario, there is only a couple frames in between here. So what I've elected to do is just completely offset the track right here so that there is 11 frames of a delay so that the exact sort of AR beat is on the beat. And then go ahead and press U on this or on the, uh, on the actual kill and then drag the shot back and then just go ahead and make it a crossfade here so that the shot will be accurate once we have, or the shot audio will be accurate once we have added the velocity. Now go ahead and right click inside your mobile velocity and then just go ahead and add the same velocity right here. So one, two, three, four. Uh, double click and one, two, three, four, five. Double click, right click slow, go through the middle, set to 50, slow again, and then drag this up to pretty much a thousand percent. I would say maybe a bit less. And then one frame forward, set to 50. Uh, now go ahead and go back here and then just go ahead and double click right here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back. Double click right here and then roughly seven forward again. Set this to slow, set the middle one to 200 and set this to fast, set this to about 65% and set this to fast as well and make sure that this is on 100%. Now there should be like a like a thing there and everything should be good to go. Now go ahead and split this right there and set or just add the preset called precise impact go ahead and put that right there. Then go ahead and split in the middle right there. Go ahead and add the precise B chick. All right, I forgot to split actually. That is my bad. Just go ahead and split precise B chick. Add that. Now go ahead and add blur more curves from the video effects tab. Blur more curves. Go ahead and drag default in there. Go to roughly like a third in uh, keyframe Z distance. Add right there and then set this to 0, 0,9 and then set that to slow. Now this is going to be much better for like the actual impact right there. So that's very nice. Now go ahead and add, go to dissolve shape and you can go and add this preset that I have called pre-shake. Uh, it looks exactly like this. I don't think any of this has changed. And now just go and go like roughly a bit later, just keyframe, uh, drag that forward, set it to zero right, zero right there, drag that, set that to like seven, five. And after that, we have like a double, uh, like a double beat shake essentially. So then last thing we're gonna wanna do is just go seven frames back right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever it ended up being, uh, and add the blur mo curves right there as well. And this is important because we do not want the beat shake to be instant. We want it to sort of like go forward a bit. So let's set the 0 0.93, right click slow on the start. And after that, we should be good to go. Now the last thing we can do is just go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five frames back right there and go forward to the precise zoom out one. And that's gonna be five frames and the precise zoom out two, 25 frames, and then it goes out right there. Now you can do a spin as well. I have put a spin transition in the description or if I don't think it was good enough for this tutorial. All right, now the last thing we need to do is the sound effect. So in the description, I do have a bass swoosh right there. It should look sort of like this. We can just go and sync it up and we can go and you know, decrease the audio a bit, I would say. Uh, we can sync this up to both of the kills and it really does help with, you know, the actual sound of it. And now we can go over to the ident and do the reverb. So we're gonna wanna add a new audio track, control Q and drag this up underneath the audio track. Then go and split where the audio or the ident should be. And then go and drag this down. Now go and overlap these sort of like that. And just go ahead and overlap them like that. Now it is important that one of these is the sort of C curve and the other is the reverse C curve. So let's go and set the first one at the bottom to the reverse C curve. And then over here, we can set the top one to the reverse C curve. So it should be like that and that should be like that. And this is the way you actually make the audio level stay the same. So now go and go to the track effects right there. Then go and press the plugin chain button 
and go ahead and go to third party, which is gonna be right there. Click ambience, add okay. Now this is obviously an external plugin. If you don't have this, I've made several tutorials on it. Uh, they will be linked in the description. Uh, pretty much like a three bit installation and it is what all of the big guys use. So I would highly recommend that you get it. Now, once you have this, just go ahead and add the preset that is in this description and is also in the description of the video where I show you how to do it. So very easy stuff, just going to add that. And now there should be some audio in here, which is very cool. You can go and play around with these settings if you so desire desire you can also add some muffle to it whatever you want to do whatever you think sounds best and that is pretty much it really thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial i hope i'll see you guys later and bye